originality is dead on YouTube and Master Eth killed it. I did, you're right, my this bad. This guy that's been in my chat, he killed originality on YouTube. He what did can it. I say? It's my fault. I Let's talk about that. It's my fault. My bad. My bad, chat. My bad. My bad. Oh, jeez. Jeez. No, you didn't even unmute muted. the video. Wow. Wow. Back Professional streamer. Thousands on YouTube. Originality was flourishing. Orig True. True. Yep. Exactly. I, I, it so early in I agree. Video. I definitely agree. Anyways, yes. The duck walked up to one line of He stand out. He said to the man, man right of the stand, hey, ba, ba, ba. Back in the early 2000s on YouTube, originality was flourishing. Original works of art Base. like Charlie the Unicorn, Nyan Cat, and many others were. To be fair, Nyan Cat is not a, an original work. Uh, they, is it not the people who uploaded the video um they did not write the song nor did they create the oh um, interesting whoever it was that uploaded interesting. that to youtube combined okay we're gonna pause we're gonna <laughs> you're gonna pause right here for a second i didn't know that first of all and second of all i was kind of just rattling off what were some popular uh, artistic esque kind of things on YouTube at the time that were popular, and people are like, "Oh yeah, I remember that," but I didn't realize it was like, you know, not by that person. I thought it was, you know, but I guess I was wrong enough. Two things that already existed. Um, I didn't know that. My bad. No. Uh, I I just think it's funny that you used that as an example because it's not an example of originality. Um, oh, interesting. I love Neon Cat. Don't get me wrong. I think that pairing that gif with that uh, song was brilliant, but not original. I thought it was. I honestly thought it was. the most memorable from that era. This is an example of originality. 100%. I agree. Uh, yes. Love Don't Hug Me. I, when the original Don't Hug Me came mm. out, I was so, I was such an edgelord about it. I was like, it's. It's just gross out. Like, oh, it looks like I agree, a weird yeah. thing. But then it gets gross and weird. Mm -hmm. And then, like, as the series went on, each each iteration of Don't Hug Me after that increased my appreciation. I agree, for yes. For not only the original, but the series as a whole. Yes, I agree, Whereas for now sure. now I'm like, oh, yeah, masterpiece. Absolute masterpiece. Yep. When this first came out, I was such a hater. Yep. <laughs> Anyways... Let me get let let's let Eth get more than ten seconds into his <laughs> video. <laughs> no, stop me more. I add more commentary. Don't just play my video on stream. How dare you play my video on stream? Back in the early two thousands on YouTube, originality was flourishing. Based. Original works of art like Charlie the Unicorn, based. Oh, uh, and not uh, based. Let me let me put the link for this in the description. Of, of course, he, the he's like, oh, let, let's play Master Eth. That... Let's play Master Eth, and then keep stopping him <laughs> you're actually here that's great i love that keep in mind this is the first time somebody has reacted to one of my videos on stream this has never happened to me before so i'm like i i'm basking in this moment i'm not gonna lie but if someone is here me i'm it, here i'm i'm here reacting to i'm here it's me i'm the problem it's me hi it's me who oh Weird. Okay. There's a weird subscribe notification to, on my phone. Let's change this. Subscribe to help kill originality on <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> you just gonna leave that on there? Are you, are you seriously just gonna? Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways. Listen, we're not gonna pause the video. We're not gonna skip anything because we need the full context of the situation. You need to understand what's happening here others were some of the most memorable from that why do i sound so tired <laughs> why do i sound so tired i don't i don't get it era of youtube well on the surface most of us saw them as dumb videos on this new thing called like i said i was such a hater of some of these things when that's first came that's out. very fair but honestly fair I grew to love them that's why i do the the sub -fix. i did not grow to love annoying orange i think annoying orange is very brain dead and stupid but it was funny when i was 13 and now that it's this whole global empire that annoying orange is uh i hate it so i do what i'm doing here i love this stuff all the internet what youtube had now turned into an ouroboros in a sense <laughs> huh interesting <laughs> 
the cut there is so good. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Internet. What YouTube had now turned into an Ouroboros. In I originally wanted to do like a specific transition, but I feel like the cut was just perfect for that situation. Sense where? Oh, what does this person think about this? Oh, this person did this, so cancel them. Uh oh, a YouTuber I used to watch is now a problematic person. Whenever I consider switching what I do to, I this is really cool. This is like. Mm -hmm. Think about this. Oh, this I'm so clever. So I'm uh -oh. so clever. I'm so smart. Watch is now a problematic person. So, one, yeah. the thing he's complaining about, it's the same thing Jack Swims was complaining about in um, drama is more popular than content. Yep, 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 yep. yep. 100% true. Based. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Bro is literally having, uh, <laughs> bro is literally eating uh, but also, while I'm. <laughs> I love this, what he's done here with the this whiteboard shot of just putting reaction over top of the word art. To be fair, I think reactions whiteboard. can be art. Whiteboard. But I, Why I can't you see the whiteboard? a very visceral way of getting his point across within the first 30 minutes. Thank you. Excuse me. Within the Thank first you. 30 seconds of the video. Thank you. Is a reaction actually helping highlight is the it? art, or is it just is it? scaring it? Is it making it worse? Is Fantastic reactions making it worse? way of getting that point across. Is it making it worse? I don't know. Subscribe to Master Eth. Yeah, subscribe to me. Then Thank whenever you. Whenever I consider switching what I do to be more original. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I hate, I hate the framing in this video because I have like a weird... I just move my like hair behind my ear. Like that's all I need to do, but I don't know why I didn't stops me every time is that this channel has never been about me it's been the things that have interested me that i love to share with others Base. yet when i look at what others do i think that's really cool and i wish i could do something similar that was truly my own something that i created with my own two hands yeah. uh, <laughs> professional a streamer yeah, professional streamer no thanks. become no you didn't become a member of the channel wow wow I see how it is. No, it's fine. No, it's it's fine. Whatever. Um, Whatever. It's fine. It's such a such an interesting thing because it's something something I think about all the time as well. Mm -hmm. um, and something I I struggled with a lot when pivoting to streaming is I was like, all right. Yeah. When my channel started, <laughs> it was similar to what Master Youth said. It's never supposed to have been just about me. Yeah. It's always been called the Schmook Network or Schmook Studios or whatever. Yeah. It was always supposed to center a bunch of people. The early videos are always me with friends making mm -hmm. weird short Sam. films no, and stuff. No, I fully agree. Not yeah. Always. Joe Rules the World obviously uh, focused um. me in the early ones. But then it quickly grew beyond that. I've always wanted there to be other faces on the channel. At yeah. every stage of this channel's development, it's never supposed to have been about me. But originally, it was about groups of people making. I agree. Stuff. No, same. Yep. As original as we could. Yep. Make it. Exactly. Creativity. And that's that's the that's why I had this weird epiphany when I was trying to make a new documentary about. Um, I'm just gonna reveal it. Eric Doa did like a whole 300 hour live stream about making an album. I was gonna make a documentary about that, but I'm like, th I'm not involved in this project. Why should I? Sorry, I bumped the mic. My bad. I don't know if the mic is freaking out or not. Why would I make a documentary about this if I'm not involved in this situation? Because I kept putting clips together and I'm like, I want to make a documentary about this. But the more I did that, the more I was like, eh, I don't know. So, yeah. My point is, when I started on YouTube, all my stuff was like original. Like I was making skits. I was making, I was trying to be funny. So I, I was also kind of relating to the fact that like what I originally did on YouTube was original. Was the name of the game, right? Mm. Whereas I then took so many small steps into, um, I want to make the sub feed. I want to be more like a nostalgia critic Linkara person for internet content. That's what mm. the sub feed was originally supposed to be. And then as I've made the pivot to streaming, it's like, I'm never not. I, I have to also appreciate the fact that this person is not just playing the video without stopping it, you know? Because the thing about commentary is that if you do a reaction like this, and this person, 
I'm going to cut that out, whatever. I appreciate that Joe is pausing the video and talking about this thing. I think that's really good. If you're going to do a video like this, you have to add some sort of commentary on top of it. Otherwise, you're just playing somebody else's video, and that's really scummy, you know? In this box. It's never... There's never not an unoriginal thing. I'm pointing the wrong way. <laughs> There's never not an unoriginal thing taking up. <laughs> That's funny. There's never not an unoriginal thing right here taking up the majority of the screen. I am always in the box. The originality is always in a box trapped mm, here. Yeah, that's while fair. something unoriginal takes up the lion's share of the space mm. on the screen. And I've I really struggled with is that something I want to do? Yeah. Um, it's not, it's should I have made that pivot? Let's talk about that. Honestly, I don't think my life is interesting. Yet I have those moments where other people's lives interest me. It's a real paradoxical loop I find myself in. Based. Seeing people like these YouTubers make games and seeing these other YouTubers make music. It's been really really interesting to see so many YouTubers branch out into different avenues of creativity. Also, this is such an interesting list. Um, I don't <laughs> yeah. think Jax Films ever really branched out into music. I wish Jax Films did more music. Jax Films makes music on his channel. He's made music for years. Like, that's a, that's a common thing he does. Sure, it's comedy and it's satirical half the time, but, like, he still makes music. He made music for one of his Choose Your Own Adventure games. Like, he's made a bunch of different songs, comedy songs. He's made music. He has experience with making music. But his music has always been... Um part of the the parodies and sketches like, like true yeah but it's still music has never really been beyond the normal comedic scope of his channel it's still music um, though and whereas, like and julian smith was doing music back in the 2010s age true no yeah. but yeah but these people are mostly known for being a youtuber and then they also do this you know what I mean? I, I just think that's interesting, the the list here. Banksy has been making a lot more art. However, there has been one YouTuber that has really done something that is very difficult to pull off. His own quote-unquote fake ARG thing. And not only one the YouTuber has done this. There have been a lot of YouTubers. No, I agree. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I, I added this example because I was like, oh, this, this person has been doing this like vlog-esque Easter egg ARG secret black ops thing for like weeks and I thought that concept was really interesting and This this is kind of like the start of that basically. I I I'm so split on ARGs. They're so That's cool, fair. but like I have trouble engaging with them in any way other than see and the thing it, it, and I, I had I probably should have explained this a little bit better This is a little bit more than an ARG. That's kind of how it started and then it kind of like spiraled into like this other thing that I think is really cool and like really original. Be a YouTuber talk about it after it's been solved. <laughs> I really struggle to keep up with or understand ARGs. I was there. I was in the Discord server. I've been in a Discord server for a couple of ARGs, but I struggle to keep up with what's going on. I feel like it's always like, hey, any updates? And it's like, no, we haven't figured anything out. And then they will figure Literally, out. Literally, yeah. That's that's what um, happened to me, yeah. And if I look for clues, I, I'm clueless. Sam, yep. Um, but I, I've, I was in the Discord server trying to help solve the Silva Gunner reboot ARG. Mm, oh, wow. As well as... For me, it was when, Black Ops 6. <laughs> um, this past year, when Matt Pat was re retiring, yeah. um, the ARG to find the secret endings to the final theory... Uh, I was in the server for that, um, which I know uh, Game Theory has done a bunch of ARG stuff. I never got into that, to be honest. This was the first ARG. The reason I'm mentioning this is because it's like it's it's more original, I think. And it's also like something different. And this was also my first ARG. And I was focused on focusing on this for weeks. So I it was also an excuse to, to kind of talk about it to make it like worth it, you know, that we just the the clues to solve it simply didn't exist until the final theory itself went live and as soon as it did uh, it became yeah. clear where the other clues went i see and there okay. were there wasn't really it was so quick 
Yeah. Both of them were were so quick. And it's like, if you're not there to help solve it, you're not there to help solve it. Yeah. Other ARGs are longer and I think more interesting than both of those, but... That's fair. This I've one was like two weeks-ish. Thanks to a video game company. I was in a server for about two weeks trying to help decode a cipher, and my work was apparently seen by the guy who had disappeared, which started this whole ARG. Then there's Champuty, a person whose content is about him, but it's interesting to watch because it is a different perspective you don't see every day. At the end of the yeah. day, it would be nice for- I, I love this too. There's, there's so many little things in this video. Like, the light has slowly Thank gone you. off in Master Eats' room here. <laughs> Reasonably well lit. He's, one of his lights is off. <laughs> He's basically just got this kind of ambient light. He's in the dark, other than the computer screen. <laughs> well me but in a landscape it would be to watch because it is a different perspective you don't see every day at the end of the day it would be nice for me to be well me but in a landscape like youtube it's very rare for someone to make something that is actually original it's possible it's just really difficult. true base. in the words of the most famous I think, I think that's a point that cannot be stressed enough. It's so mm -hmm. easy to look at the landscape of YouTube and say that originality doesn't sell. Yeah. It does. It can. But it's just really it's difficult. So rare, <laughs> it's so rare. Exactly have, my like, point. A yeah. Mr. Beast budget. Mm -hmm. You can't just be like, oh, I want to make VGHS or something that... Yeah would have been king of youtube back in the 20s and that's the problem with youtube currently is the fact that youtube feels like very reactionary right and so because of that like the topic always has to be about something that people are aware about and then from there yes you can transition it to something else like a bigger topic or a more specific topic that's what people always do in like the video essay space 2010s you don't have the budget for that kind of stuff mm. most of the time. So your originality is limited, but it does still succeed as much as it may not seem to. Amos Poet on planet Earth. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Maybe I'm just overthinking like I tend to do. Maybe I should just continue what I'm doing despite how I feel. Originality is dead on YouTube and I helped kill it. Here's the problem though. <laughs> I love talking about independence. I'm pausing, thinking, and then, uh, I love that. Just like, independent mm. art. So. Me too. Me too. Independent art. Let's oh, go. I always justified it by saying, "Oh well, I'm helping these people." But am I really? Has anyone actually gone and supported these people who I've made videos about? <laughs> For the most part, I honestly don't. Know. Um. So this is a I this is why I was having such an existential crisis was this it's like what does what I do matter two people have like came and talked to me um or have mentioned that like oh because of your video I'm now playing this game and that affirmation I think really helped me creatively uh this person and then one other person that I know of and I'm like, oh, so when I make videos about indie games, people actually watch it and people actually try some of these games out. It's like, oh, so I can actually continue doing this and I can feel satisfied knowing that people will actually take my recommendations. I think that's really cool, you know? So I'm not quitting indie game YouTube. I'm not like, that's not it at all. But it's, uh, it's, it's, it, I needed that like perspective shift, you know? Oh. And this is why. In this very stream, I've been playing an indie game that I discovered from Master Eats. Exactly. Um, exactly I, my point. I didn't yep. put it on stream, but I have the recording of me watching um, the video Master Eats did of, like, the best indie games of 2024, whatever. It was yep, called. it was that video. I knew I it. I didn't stream it. I knew I it. I off stream just while I was doing some, some planning, organizing stuff. Yeah. I just had this that on. And I picked one. I went in with a mentality of mm -hmm. I'm going to pick one of these. And that's oh. why I recorded it. Um, 
oh stay tuned i have i have another video i have a few videos planned um that are going to be in a similar vein of like okay these are a bunch of indie games but they're kind of about like one specific thing but they're in like different styles and stuff so there will be more of that in the future um because i i actually really like that kind of style but i'm trying to like package it in a different way a lot of the uh, I, I am subscribed to a few of the channels that he's talked about on Gems of the Internet. Um, I don't Interesting. That's a poll. watch them regularly, but I... Because Gems of the Internet is a poll. That was years ago, too. But I don't know that that's normal, right? Like, I do that because it's... Because I also do the kind of content that Master ETH does. So, hmm. like, do... Do I only do that because that's what I hope people do when I do reactions like this? Mm. Is is that interesting? Or reactions like this? I pointed the wrong way. I forget that it's mirrored. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Interesting. I part of why I do that is because that's what I hope people do for my content, mm. and it. I don't know if it's normal. Or I that's don't know that that's if if maybe other people just don't maybe other people enjoy content about indie creators and then don't actually support the indie creators i don't yeah. know sometimes it'd be like that you know that's that's part of why part of why i wanted to watch this video so much is i was like ah ah this hits oh, <laughs> I know. so many people have reached out to me because of this video and it wants it makes me want to do more of these kind of videos but i have to do them sparingly like once a year, I'll have this feeling about YouTube of like, I need to talk about the state of YouTube because something doesn't feel right. And it was this. And I made a, a sequel to this video. I don't know if this person will talk about the sequel, but oh, we'll this see. This is an insecurity I also have. Same. Yep. No. All right. Now is the it point be like of the video that. where I actually wanted it to be about this, but I knew that I had a lot more to say regarding YouTube as a whole. The definition of originality is the ability to think independently. Every video I say be like, here's the definition. <laughs> quality of being novel or unusual. Am I any of these? Well, let's break down the definitions. It let's let's play along. Let's play along, chat. <laughs> Am I original? Is Schmook an original place? How to be original according to Oxford. Independent. There are many definitions depending on the context, but in the context of attempting to make art on YouTube, these are the definitions that make the most sense with this specific context. Not depending on another for livelihood or substance. <laughs> not influenced or affected by others this it's one's harsh. difficult okay well according to the first definition considering my channel is about independent artists ironically by this definition it's not independent meaning it's not original by that definition the second same, <laughs> same. i should yeah. i should have my own graphic see it it's like influenced by others is so tricky because it's like every everybody's influenced by something so is nothing original that that's that's where like this whole rabbit hole thing kind of started it was like huh so i had to like break it down um <laughs> you're really grabbing something i can't my whiteboard i would have to like um, hey just borrow this one to get it to just borrow this whiteboard here here i'll 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 give you this whiteboard here, here. Um, you, just use this one i'm giving you right here just use that one whatever we'll just I'll, oh okay I'll so you're not gonna use it okay cool great so that was useless definition is a little bit trickier because everyone is influenced by something in their exactly. life that's where the process of making art starts but then tech true true mm -hmm. no no one is an island no one is is yeah. fully uninfluenced dante was writing fan fiction you know what i mean <laughs> yeah everyone is influenced by something in their life that's where the process of making art starts but then technically art isn't original yet to some it still has this high pedestal me I, I am the someone the more you take into the account the term original the more convoluted of a concept this whole thing becomes well yes i do think independently i don't actually think independently apparently all right so if my videos aren't original because they aren't independent are they original based on creativity? The use of imagination or original ideas, especially in the production of an artistic work. Wait, so now we're back to the term original. Oh no, the term original is its own Ouroboros.
Oh no! <laughs> when you when you try to define something, but then the definition uses the 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 actual word. <laughs> it's it's like that that whole it's it's an or like this whole conversation is an Ouroboros in and of itself, and it's so hard. It's so hard to like comprehend. Listen, I love etymology. However, my head is starting to hurt. Yes, it is technically creative because I do be imagining in my head video topics and thank God for the heavy lifting of the or there because otherwise I would technically not be creative. Yes, my videos are a production if you technically count it as a movie that plays on TV for some reason and since YouTube can be on a TV and YouTube TV is literally a thing. When I first watched the video we're reacting to now, I had it on my TV. It's true. <laughs> Yeah, Basically. point proven. Dang, I, guess I, I make I, movies. I, think I we're make movies. Get bogged down in the in the definitions. The this section of the video is getting bogged down in definitions. Um, <laughs> I think everything he says just also applies to my channel. Like the the bits that are original for him are also original for me. Um, <laughs> and it's gonna come out kind of a wash. Yeah. So quite literally, yes and no. Personally, yes and no. I don't think I'm original, but I want to be. And thanks to this, I know that I'm not original. Well, this video became its own Ouroboros that I was not expecting. So now it's time for an emotional conclusion. When I was... <laughs> A lot of the rest of this is him talking about his own channel. Um, the direction he wants to take with it. And I... You should watch his own video on that. I don't really have much to say about that specifically. No. Um, but, like, I relate to this struggle of, like, is what I'm making original? And if no. it's not original, is it worthwhile at all? I feel like, at the end of the day, original originality doesn't matter as long as you are making something new. Like, you're putting yourself into your work i think that is what is the most important because nobody else is you you are you so be you in your art if that makes sense it it's in my head it bothers me because the sub feed was supposed to be originally the sub feed was supposed to be a take on like nostalgia critic angry video game nerd yeah like that kind of stuff but do it with internet original content yeah, and I was going to really focus on because that's the thing on the internet. It's like everything is remix, so it's like it it makes if everything is remix, then like nothing is original, that kind of thing. But I wanted to ask myself, but what is originality? So that this video is kind of like that whole rabbit hole of, of that, trying to figure that out. You know, developing the lore of my channel through that. There's supposed to be a lot <laughs> Channel of lore. original stuff. Same. Yeah. And I want to get back to that place. You know what I mean? And I think yeah. YouTube as a whole would be better if more creators were interested in getting back. I agree. And I and I know I only listed like two examples. There are a bunch of people trying to make original content on the site. I just didn't highlight them because I was trying to like get to the point instead of listing 20 different YouTubers that are being original. I was just listing off a few points that I thought of at the time. <laughs> Um, but then again, it's not, there, there is still originality on YouTube, but it's so much yeah. harder to find. It's really hard to Everyone's find out. Everyone's doing reactions. Everyone's doing gaming. Everyone's doing reactions. Twitch. Hmm. Bit weird. Twitch. Um, it's hard to find that originality. And, and there is originality on Twitch. Therapy Gecko, Orc Run, uh, Sushi, Dragon Sushi, I think is his name on Twitch. Doug Doug for a while was doing more original stuff. I mean, he still kind of is doing original stuff. But yeah, there are, like, there are people. I feel like I'm going to throw up. It's unrelated to this. It's been feeling like that the whole stream. Yeah, what what's up? Originality can still succeed on YouTube, I think, mm -hmm. um, and, and on the internet as a whole. Like yeah. platforms like Dropout that started on YouTube are making tons of ori of original. I content. love Dropout. I love Dropout um, so much. But I wanted I wanted to make a video about Dropout. 
uh, and then somebody else beat me to it, and I got really sad. A lot of that requires a budget, and to get there, mm-hmm. you gotta, you kind of gotta put in your hours at the exactly, original yeah. factory. That's why a good example of this is Pyrocynical. He makes like really long video essay type stuff about video games, and he has a slop channel where he like posts every day, does like commentary and stuff like that. But he uses that money for the main channel, so you kind of, I get what, yeah, I, I totally relate in like knowing the person who does this kind of stuff yeah um because if you make something that's wholly original like my when i was a kid i was so full of original ideas and a lot of them were shit you can go back through the history of this channel the the original original joe rules the world was not a good video yeah um it it was randomness Mm. it was what if i play the most camp evil character i can and intercut it with footage of random interviews why i don't know (laughs) it was original but like why was it saying anything (laughs) was it worth watching No. no absolutely not um but if i make something that's wholly unoriginal if i just let master eats video play that's also not worth watching. Agreed. Yeah. There's got to be a balance. Um, yeah. I think so and too. I wish at I the had end of the day, more yeah. of a concluding thing to say. I think this is an ongoing conversation that I, yep. I like to bring up on the stream sometimes. Um, I agree. Yeah. Is there a point to any of this? Is there a point to the content that Joe is making? Not all of it's original. A lot of it isn't original, but I think like Master Eth, I want to I want to move in a direction that is more original for sure. That's all right. Yeah. Um, because otherwise you may as well watch AI generated shit. <laughs> you <laughs> may as well yeah. watch s- Might as well. S- Sniper. Hey, uh, speaking about AI, you should uh, watch the sequel to this to cool. video. Anyways, um, let someone else curate your tiktok feed for you and mindlessly react to it yep reacting huh interesting concept i would never do it ever in my entire life i think it's gar- i think uh, it's uh, uh you know whatever but that's part of why i'm always so slow i'm so slow to get bods of the um streams out because i don't mm. want them to just be bods of the stream that's fair i no. want them to have as much originality infused into them as possible this is not just ah uh, that's fair the video i've been working on for months now i can't don't wait for that video just be this is the highlights of me playing princess peach showtime i want it to be mm-hmm. see we suffer from main channel syndrome right where it's like oh if it's on the main channel it has to be this glamorous thing it has to be our best work you know and that's why we have multiple channels <laughs> so we can do stuff like this that's just fun that isn't like main channel stuff but is still kind of relevant you know like the rec channel that's why i have the that's rec channel train of thought. i want it to be this is my review of princess peach showtime this is what i think of princess peach as a character i want to add all that stuff yeah. into it and make it flow as a as a narrative as an essay um video essays are good i like video essays i make video essays they're fun. I definitely recommend it. I just definitely want go for to it. be original. But all of my thoughts are unoriginal. <laughs> Such a mood. Sometimes you just have to sit in a quiet room with your own thoughts, you know? Sometimes you have to figure out how you work, how you function, and infuse that in the in the videos, you know? I overthink. So I made this video and the, the video after that. Because I overthink. <laughs> <laughs> you know? it's a struggle it's a real struggle um but at the end of the day i would like to say that the answer to a question master Eth posted earlier is yes um the reactions reactions are part of a conversation art That's is true. meant yeah. to inspire reaction art is meant to art is meant to inspire conversation hmm interesting okay provoke conversation okay. and i think that in a social media world 
a reaction is part of that. There just has to be... Mm. Interesting. But you must be careful to still include an element of originality in that. Otherwise, you're not saying anything. And you're exactly, just... Exactly, yeah. You're just saying based all the time for 40 minutes straight, or you're saying absolutely nothing, or you're, you know, streamers who just, like, play shows and say absolutely nothing. You know, that's not good. You know, I added the whiteboard bit in this video. You know, I've been trying to be conversational, trying to add like a director's commentary kind of thing on top of this whole thing, trying to be like, add more to it, add more depth, you know? I went to my cousin's house, AKA my grandparents' basement. In that basement, I wasn't expecting we were gonna play the conclusion. I thought we were just gonna end it there, it but okay. Xbox 360. And one of those games was uh... Halo Reach. Naturally, this was before I got my own Xbox. So when I finally did, the name Master Eve popped into my head a combination of master chief from halo and ethan my name naturally as time progressed as well as the internet that name meant less and less to me and no matter how much i justified it thanks to the term eth my name now has an association with crypto which is ironic because i honestly hate crypto not damn that's crazy i hate nope. crypto too crypto bad <laughs> crypto no bad original. I just let a video yeah. play for like a full minute and then say, yep. damn, that's crazy. <laughs> that's what I try Sniper not Wolf. to be. Yeah, exactly. I try not to be that. Yeah. Uh, and I think Master Eath does too. Um, Master Eath doesn't exactly, do yeah. his reactions live. Master Eath will shout out, do deep dive. I do. I do be doing deep about dives. About the creators yeah. he's talking about. I try. See, my thing is like, I let's get meta. I never do reactions. I don't like doing reactions, but for this specific one, I'm doing it because nobody has ever react reacted to my video on stream. So this is a moment for me as a creator. I'm being a little bit selfish. So I apologize for that. But this is also a bigger conversation that I think more people need to have of like, try to be more original on YouTube, you know? So, yeah. Um, but oh yeah the other thing i was gonna say is i love writing i love writing so much i i cannot be a re reactionary person most of the time unless it's streaming that's a little bit different because i'm interacting with chat and everything but um the thing is like i love writing i love writing essays about stuff that i'm passionate about like indie the indie space indie gaming stuff like that so i love writing right so i'm always gonna write like that's kind of like where my perspective comes in most of the time it's like through my writing right so that's that's like original those are my own words my own thoughts being put into words on paper you know it's very much for me trying to do it live and still have originality be a part of it that's tough. Yeah. It's it tough. is tough yeah and i don't know if i put that's why i don't stream all that often like i i definitely prefer videos over streaming you know because i feel like i can be more original i can have more original thoughts more original ideas or new thoughts and ideas Pull it off all the time but i want to and i think that's not the most climactic thing i can end on but i can edit it so i end on one of my better points when i do the vod. Yep. <laughs> editing the edited vod. editing is great now yeah. i do think some people will find the the unlist the links to the unlisted full vods and watch those um I don't know why i feel like i'm primarily here live because i would like you yeah. to be in the chat here communicating with me now i agree if that's fair you're watching this i was as... a, i was i was actually wondering that why why the bots go unlisted after i might have to ask permission to even post this video <laughs> i'll probably do that just as a common courtesy because this person also asked permission to play my video on stream and i said yes so if you want to play my videos on stream, literally ask me first. And most of the time I'm going to say yes. But also, no, try to add commentary on top of it. Don't just play the video. You know what I mean? It's an unedited VOD. I'm not sure why you're here. Um, cause you're Hi, I'm the problem. I'm glad. <laughs> I chatted with you earlier, Listen, you so hopefully this up. counts. Listen to I'm my getting voice. to watch time oh, up. I'm, I'm listening. Still here. I'm uh, listening. I'm I here. Do that. But I'm so glad that you are. This is the best stream on YouTube. Is anyone here? True. No. I, Thank you so I, much for being here. If you are finding and watching this unedited VOD, I'm uh, here. I am going to go. If you want to watch the rest of Master Eats video, it's Bye. linked in the description. And that's all you need to know. Go watch his video. He talks about his channel. His channel's 
great and listening to him talk about his channel is honestly worthwhile but it stops being related to stuff that i relate to after this point um, that's fair yeah so check out joe schmook rap on youtube uh great streams best stream on youtube definitely recommend it i do think originality needs to be more of a conversation and i'm so glad that this other streamer slash youtuber is also talking about it and i appreciate that this person is having these conversations as well so thank you for playing my video on stream thank you for asking me for permission i definitely appreciate this i'm now going to ask permission to post this uh reaction director's commentary kind of thing so we'll see how that goes but uh yeah Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you later.